And all I did was cry through the whole court. I cried because it didn't matter what I said. <laughs> and I didn't have an attorney. I couldn't find an attorney to legally represent me at the time. I thought that I could go to court and tell the judge, look, he's dealing drugs. My kids are safer in my household. Uh, and they just ignored that part. Being a lesbian is worse than living around drugs. I mean, and, and that's what the message was from the judge at the time. He was only two years old, and his father really believed the best thing to do was to kidnap him from me. And he was starting to talk and had words and phrases. And the trauma for him, not knowing, understanding any of this, just being wrenched literally out of my arms uh, in a speeding car where I was like forcibly kicked out the door. It was like a grade C movie rolling in the street. Um, him watching that as a baby trying to get to me and then not seeing me for several weeks before I could finally get an order that I could see him with his restrictions. He quit talking for about six months completely. Actually, he crawled up in my lap the day that I went to see him and whispered in my ear, you know, I love you, Mom. And then he never said another thing for six months. I want to say right off that I think divorce is devastating to young children in general, but to be taken away from an absolutely wonderful mother, I mean, this was our Girl Scout leader. She was the one that hosted birthday parties for us and all the kids came. To be taken away from her because she was sleeping with a woman and dropped back into our father's extremely abusive and volatile household, it, it was devastating. And at the time that we started, there was the one case that we knew of here in Seattle that had won. And by the time we had gone 10 years, 50% of the cases in most parts of the country were winning. One thing about the Lesbian Mothers National Defense Fund is that they had a motto. And the motto was raising children, bearing children, adopting children is a human right. It's not a heterosexual privilege. And at the time when I was losing custody, that got ingrained in my heart. And I knew that it was a human right for me to want to have my son if I couldn't have my son to go on and have other children. And that motto has stayed with me forever. And I believe it in the core of my being. I'm a, a woman's lover. I'm an other woman's mom. I'm a woman's daughter naturally. And if ever I need a friend upon a woman I'll depend. It's the 